Thank you for joining us. Now, former President Jerry John Rawlings has taken a swipe at former President John Kufuofo, his instituting of policies that work against family planning during his tenure. According to him, Mr. Kufuor's administration encouraged many Ghanaians to give birth without regard to their living conditions, a situation he said further deepened poverty and inequality among the populace. Mr. Rawlings has been speaking at the NDC's Revolution Day marked at Ashaiman on Monday. Former government appointees, leadership of the Opposition National Democratic Congress and members of the party joined founder Jerry John Rawlings to mark the event believed to have laid the ideological foundation of the Social Democratic Party. The PNDC was a military dictatorship that induced Ghanaians to participate in governance. Reefs were laid in memory of some Ghanaians who joined Mr. Rawlings as he led the military junta that ousted a Liman government from office on December 31, 1981 and ushered in the Provisional National Defense Council, PNDC. PNDC. The PNDC later transitioned into a civilian party, National Democratic Congress, NDC. Former Defense Minister of the NDC regime, Benjamin Kumbwa, called for the underlying principles of the revolution to be embraced once again. Those of us who have the spirit of December 31st in us, we do not have any other bars to join. In fact, we were in this bar since June 4th when people met us. And we do not intend at any point to get off this bus. For those who get off buses when it's convenient, I wish them a medical good Lord bless you. Thank you. Thank you. The six aspirants seeking to lead the NDC as its flag bearer were offered an opportunity to address the gathering. Former President John Dramani Mohamed, second Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Alban Babin were however absent. Professor Joshua Alabi, Sylvester Mensa, Gusi Tano, Nuruddin Idrisu, Ecos Pio Gabra took turns to tout their credentials. I urge you to think deeply with a good heart and with courage. Now, will you give me your mandate? The very day they will announce that Joshua Labi is the flag bearer, His Excellency Nana Adudankwa Kufado will start packing from the flat staff house. NDC, we are coming back. NDC, we are coming back. And as Mr. Rawlings, who delivered the keynote address, was concerned about the current financing model the NDC is depending on. Fortunately, we have millions who sympathize with the ideals of the party. But many prefer not to offer their widow's mind to the successful management of the party. This has resulted in a situation where a few individuals have constituted themselves into power brokers who dictate the direction of the party by holding it to ransom with their financial strength. Mr. Rawlings is also warning that Ghanaians risk participating in consolidating corruption if urgent steps are not collectively taken to deal with it. If we do not uproot the main stems of corruption in this country, soon we will also contribute to the consolidation of the evil of corruption. We would have squandered another God-given opportunity to free this country and restore its soul and our humanity. The issue of population growth also caught the attention of the former president. It has exploded. Ladies and gentlemen, the white man was able to contain his poverty through family planning. Are they? And even during elections, or preparation for elections, and I'd go around campaigning, and I would still be talking about HIV, AIDS, and I'll still be talking about family planning, when NPP would be doing nothing but promising this, Kufo, promising that, to the extent that he went so far to be saying, Mungwuba, Mungwuba, Mungwuba. <laughs> 37 years after the ideological birth of the NDC, members of the party remain confident sticking to the principles of probity, accountability and social justice remain the surest way of changing the fortunes of Ghana. Joseph Akable, join News Ashaman.
Meanwhile, a flag bearer hopeful of the National Democratic Congress, that's the NDC, Sylvester Mensah, has declared he is an embodiment of the party's values and ideals, ready to fulfill the change the party yearns for in order to win power from the new patriotic party. Addressing the 37th anniversary of the 31st December Revolution at the Mandela Park at Shaiman, he said many young Ghanaians have lost faith in leadership and warned it is a threat to the country's democracy. Pleasant surprises come in humble packages. In Sylvester and in Amensa, we have an authentic fiber of the party's values and ideals. A voice of optimism, hope, and sincerity. One that promises to uphold the ideals that we share. We believe in a united party. The only difference and struggle in this campaign is the fact that others say vote for them and I say vote for me and don't vote for any of them. We believe in rewarding loyalty. We believe in prosperity for all. We believe in deepening our social democratic credentials and upholding our values and principles. I want to assure you that we are winning the 2020 elections. We can move away from politics now and can food salvage from wholesale shops raised down last Sunday's fire outbreak at Edum in Kumasi have found their way onto the market. The Food and Drugs Authority as well as the National Disaster Management Organization say the widespread situation threatens public health. Officials are on a joint public education to discourage patronage and consumption of such products. Nani Aljima has more on this report. From the Central Business District of Edum to Dr. Mensa and other commercial hubs in the city, traders offer the items for sale. A visit to PZ Building Far Scene at Edum reveals serious scavenging, especially by headquarters. Not even the presence and warning of security personnel are enough to scare them. Ashanti Regional Head of NADMU, Kwabnan Century, warns the public of the health implication. I mean, people are buying it. When you go to the Tamil side, they organize it over there. People were buying. You see, so those food vendors, I think it was very cheap for them. So they were patronizing that kind of stuff, which is very bad. You know, it's not consumable. You know, the challenge is big. You know, as you are, you, you rightly said, and you have witnessed some of, it, some of them. We are telling the people we have coded this place not to come, but they keep on coming. We tell them don't pack, they keep on packing. So these are the major challenge, but uh, we have recorded everything is, we are going to, I mean, uh, put everything in our reports. Then the authorities will have, I mean, something to, to talk about it or something to do about it. Nadmo reviews plans to do a complete assessment on all old buildings in the city center as clearing of debris continues. You know what, this building was put up in 1938, so as do this one and very other, other I mean, other ones. So I think uh, there should be a, I mean, uh, project that uh, the fire, NADMO, and police, we have to come together, and, uh, and electricity also. We have to come together and make sure we do a, co I mean, inspection. You see, we, do, we have to do a thorough inspection to ascertain whether uh, the electrical cables, you know, I think uh, it's more than 50 years. You know, it's, it's, it's not good to sell you those cables that when Kwame Nkrumah was a president of Ghana. I think something has to be done. Our culture of maintenance is bad. It's very, very bad. Very, very bad. So I think there should be an organization to inspect that kind of, I mean, thing. Nanaya Ojima reporting. Now, the Upper West Region of Menes al Haji Suleiman al Hassan has urged the youth to follow the country's laid down rules and regulations in solving disputes. He made the statement in the message to the media in the Upper West Region capital. During the year, the Regional Security Council had to set up three different and separate committees to look into some disturbances in the region. In all these disturbances, however, in all these disturbances, however, let me state that the timely interventions of the security agencies in these disturbances were because of the timely intelligence gathered 
and information provided by some peace loving citizens amongst us. I also want to entreat all, particularly the youth, not to always take the law into their own hands. Please follow due process always to addressing whatever grievances you have going forward. Due process may be slow, but that is the best way to resolving matters without putting the lives of innocent and vulnerable people at risk. Government will again be rolling out yet another good initiative as a complement to the planting for food and jobs. This will be known or called rearing for food and jobs. And I want to encourage all of us, particularly government workers, to take advantage of this initiative to supplement our monthly earnings. The regional minister also said governments will roll out various social intervention programs to ensure that the youth in the area have jobs and poverty is eradicated from the area. He also urged the people, especially public servants, to take full advantage of the various programs. Uh, you're still watching Joy News today right here on the Joy News channel. We take a quick break, we return with some more stories. You're welcome back. Now, be knowledgeable and innovative this year. That is uh, the best way to promote development in all spheres of life. That's the New Year message from the General Overseer of the Perez Chapel International, Bishop Charles Arjun Asari, challenging Ghanaians to wake up to a meaningful and impactful life in 2019. He spoke to Joy News in an exclusive interview. Precious one, 2019 is a year that is going to be a year of growth and increase growth and increase on all sides. We will see financial growth, we will see development, we will see things happen like never before. However, it, scripture tells us it's God who gives the increase. But it says Paul planted Apollos water. That means that we must do something and that God will give the increase. In 2019, we must work hard like never before. We must be disciplined. We must be innovative. We must be creative. And as we do all these things, God would also rain his increase like never before on us. We must seek knowledge. We must acquire knowledge. We must apply the knowledge also. We must not be satisfied with whatever we have seen. Whatever 2018 brought us, we should forget it. Paul said, I forget all that is behind. I press on towards the mark of the high calling. There is something more that God wants to do in our lives. And that is what we want to aim at in 2019. We want whatever results and whatever breakthroughs we experienced in 2018 cannot be compared to the breakthroughs we are going to experience in 2019. I don't mean penetrations, I mean breakthroughs. Think about a penetration. This is a penetration. And so up till this time you've been experiencing penetrations. 2019, this is what you want to experience, a breakthrough. And that will be your portion. So in 2019, may your needs be met. May God visit you. When you run, may you not be weary. May you be able to run with horses and overtake them. When the waters flood, may you be able to swim across it. May, may you not drown. May what is happening around you not quench your fire. May the heavens open over you. May you become a testimony. 
May your limitation cease. Every line they said you cannot cross. 2019, may you cross it. Every limitation they put on you, may you lift it. If anything was dead around you, may it receive life. May your business flourish. May your marriage flourish. May you experience breakthroughs on all sides. May 2019 be your year of growth and increase in Jesus' name. Now, worshippers and bereaved relatives of the Tema Community for Assemblies of God pastor stabbed and killed and mastered courage to hold an all-night church service to pray for the soul of their murdered leader. They barely managed to sing and praise God for what they describe as a trying 2018 and prayed against further calamities. At the entrance of the church stands a huge billboard advertising an all-night church service on the 31st of December 2018 to usher in 2019. But that wasn't to be. Reverend Dr. David Nabegmado would not cross over to this year, 2019. His murder blew away plans the church had for the all-night church service. All of them are traumatized. That's to say pastors, every one of them. You see, they are trying to hold back their tears. In fact, when I was coming in, I saw a woman, she was, literally, she was wailing, really? clouded in black and was wailing as she entered the city. Yeah. I don't know whether at midnight, whether we'll be able to contain the wailing here. Plan for the all-night service had already been drawn, and among the directives issued by the murdered pastor was for the congregants to wear an all-white apparel to thank God for his mercies. But as it turned out, some came dressed in black. A few who mustered courage to speak to Joy News said they are still struggling to come to terms with the gruesome killing of their spiritual leader. Oh, yes, I didn't move far because. God allowed these things to happen so that we, the living, will sit up. That God is not the respecter of persons. He can allow anything to happen. But we, the living, must learn a lesson from us and be ready at any time. This is a message to the congregation. That is the message that even though it's painful that we have lost him, but the thing is that we need to also go before God and say, God, what are you telling us in the midst of what we are going through? Oh, and then, uh, uh, in fact, let me finish say, Bianca, I ran who and I said, wait. Because of a funny word, never mind. When I say, and you'll be away, you must master. Then I am Yaji, do Yashra, dear, dear, but Yaji. The bereavement, however, didn't stop them from singing to the glory of God for seeing them through what they say was a trying 2018. Away from that, holiday makers were not left out of the action on 31st night and many pubs and street bars were the centre of attraction for hundreds of individuals with many having ambitious aspirations with the dawn of a new year. Church services are over. I mean, people have left the church. Many of the individuals have found their way, you know, into pubs and clubs and on the streets just to celebrate the passing or the crossing over into the new year. So this is Purple Pub, one of the most popular places here. So I'm going to be speaking to some of the people here uh, to find out what the resolutions have been for them. I mean, how 2018 was and what they look to achieving in the year 2019. Uh, I see these guys having a lot of fun here. Uh, thank you very much. Welcome to join you. Yo, what's your name? So listen to me the name. Thank you. Smart Boy GH. Yo. What's your name? Morgan. All right. Thank you very much, guys. 2018, how has it been for you? Yo, 2018, we work hard. But instead of 2019, where they come, you know, we they enjoy. We they want more blessing from the job. If we, so not that way they drive, but 2019, we don't want to drive Range Rover. So we they, we, we they hear more blessing from job. So that we go use some ride a Range Rover. People go to see with the ride Range Rover. All right. Yes. 2018 must have been a very long year. How did it go for you generally in 2018? Oh, 2018, uh, things go slow. 2019, uh, I need God to save my heart. Okay. To give me strong, more life, more money, everything. Okay. I hope 2019, everything will be possible. Yeah, everything will be fine. All right. did, did you come here alone? 
No, I came with my friends. Talk all matters. You just, the tablets is where they come. If they come more, we will hear me. They hear more, more, more. Solution be the name. If I fall, no one come. All right. Solution. Happy New Year, solution. guys here I'll, I'll try and speak to a few more people it looks like a very big party around this place let me let me go here and speak to these set of guys who are I see they are having a lot of fun at their table hi welcome to join you The sleep hours could be injurious to your health. Uh, that's according to some health experts. And it's an advice from Dr. Hannah Lisa Tete, who is a medical doctor. But how so? She's been telling us more about this on the AM show. A lot of us are sleep deprived. We don't take sleeping seriously. We're not asking you to sleep so much. We're looking at, um, for an adult, seven to eight hours of sleep. Um, yes, yeah, studies say that if you sleep less than six hours or you sleep more than that, you're at risk of an early death compared to somebody who sleeps within that hour. Yes, yeah, so it's that six. serious. So even if you sleep more than eight hours, yes, more too, and less is still yourself. yes, more yeah. and less is still a problem. <laughs> um, there are many advantages of sleeping. Sleeping helps you to focus, and then it works on helping you judge and assess situations very well. Because if you are sleep deprived your brain cells or the nerves are overworked so it makes it difficult for you to coordinate stuff also um, sleeping has been known to help with memory learning and memory so um, for learning we know we have the acquisition learn the memory we acquire the information then it's consolidated and then there's um, recall acquisition and recall okay mostly when we are awake mm. but for the consolidation parts it mostly occurs when we are sleeping so you see when you have to study for an exam you don't want to sleep but you have to sleep so that whatever you've taken in would be stored mm. and mostly occurs during sleep also um if you stay awake the cells are always working they're always active so their byproducts um which is adenosine stays and accumulates and this is responsible for feelings of tiredness. Uh -huh. Some people try to use caffeine to, yes, it counteracts the effect, but it still doesn't mean that there's no accumulation of this yeah. byproduct. And so when you sleep, the body gets the chance to get rid of all of this, and then you wake up alert. Mm -hmm. That's why even if you're so tired and you just get like two hours of sleep, you wake up sometimes feeling more yeah. refreshed. Um, sleeping helps you to repair and restore damaged parts and most of the growth activity repair of muscle and tissue occurs yeah. when you're sleeping. Yeah. So sleeping is very important.